weight or the downward pull of gravity acts on our aircraft at the center of gravity. Weight is going to be the number that we're using when we're calculating lift or trying to determine the amount of lift that we need in order to counteract that weight and get our aircraft off the ground. Gravity of an aircraft must be within the manufacturer's designed or intended range for safe life. Center of gravity range or CG range can be as small as 18 to 24 inches on small aircraft. When the plane is within this range, the aircraft is controllable. When the aircraft is outside this range, it's unsafe and difficult to control. We must know what that range is and distribute the weight accordingly to ensure safe flight. This is something that must be fixed before we fly and checked every single time. The pilot is responsible for ensuring the aircraft is safe and signing off on it before takeoff. More information is available in every airplane's pilot guide. Um, we can particularly reference the Cessna 172 A Pilot's Guide, which is cited in the references of this presentation. To determine if an aircraft is within the safe range based on a datum. A datum is simply a reference point. Most calculations used to be based on the firewall, which is the dividing wall between the power plant at the nose of the plane and the cockpit. The firewall in the light aircraft provides a stable reference point because it's one of the few structural components that's unlikely to be modified during the lifespan of the aircraft. Now the datum is generally based on the point, tip, or nose of the plane. The weight on board an aircraft needs to be modified and distributed to be within the given range. The weight of the aircraft will be based on the aircraft itself, the pilots and passengers, and the cargo and fuel. Note that the weight of the aircraft itself is not changeable and the weight of the pilot and passengers is only changeable to a certain limit, but the amount of cargo can be modified for the flight and the fuel can be modified based on the amount placed on board beforehand and how much is used throughout the flight. Depending on the plane, fuel is consumable from 9 gallons per hour for a small plane to 10,000 gallons per hour on commercial jets and transport vehicles. We use moment around the reference point or datum to determine if the plane is within a safe range. This is a review from POE, but remember that moment or torque is the force times the perpendicular distance from the point of rotation. Here is an example of calculating the moment and total weight of an aircraft. You will see the various items we will account for including the empty weight of the plane, the pilots, the fuel, the passengers, and the baggage or cargo. We will use weight as the force. In aviation operations, the term weight is used in place of force as a specific force being considered for the weight and balance calculation. The distance arm will be the perpendicular distance from our reference point in inches. Note for this example, we're using the firewall as the datum. Take a minute to multiply through and calculate the moment due to each item. We'll simply add up the total force on the plane as well as the total moment for a total force of 2,400 pounds and a total moment of about 105,000 pound inches. Now we need to determine if the plane is safe to fly. We will use the center of gravity moment envelope, which is specific to each aircraft. This is a weight and balance chart from the manufacturer often found in a pilot operating handbook. The weight and moment must fall within these boundaries for the airplane to be controllable. If the center of gravity lies too far back, then the aircraft is inclined to pitch up, potentially entering a stall condition. If the center of gravity is too far forward, then the aircraft is inclined to pitch down. A pilot and supporting ground crew, if applicable, need to perform several important tasks prior to flight. Weight and balance calculations and adjustments are performed by the pilot or supporting ground crew and verified by the pilot. If the ground crew performs this task, then the information is delivered to the pilot on a piece of paper prior to closing the main cabin door. You may have found yourself in the situation on a small commuter aircraft where the flight attendant asks for passengers to change seats. This is to adjust the weight and balance of the aircraft to a more ideal flight condition. So, for our example, we had about 2,400 pounds and about 105,000 inch-pounds for moment. 
Notice the axis for moment is expressed in per thousand inch pounds. So make sure you divide through by 1,000 or take note of that for the specific plane you're working with or the specific graph you're looking at. We will look at the intersection of these two values and if that point is within the red line or envelope, the plane is safe to fly. For this example, the point falls right on the line so it's safe to fly but barely. If you're first learning to fly, you want to fall right in the middle of the envelope for maximum stability and safety rather than that close to the edge. Note that the change of slope in the upper limit of the graph is because of the stability of the aircraft with respect to the weight distribution is more complex than a linear relationship, such as applying a load to a wrench. This graph is the result of extensive modeling and testing by aerospace engineers.